I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Congratulations to K Ronte, how you pronounce that, but you are the winner for the drawing for the 2000 subs free premium duty giveaway. You got the freeze slash run again as your gift. And if you already have it in your port, you'll be rewarded with doubloons uh, equivalency. So as appreciate as always, like subscribe bell button below. Appreciate all the support. So let's talk about the gift that we gave away. One of my favorite premium destroyers, which is the AKA Grun again, but it was the Friesland at the time with the European premium DD line. It's a tier nine, of course. Wish they had a tier 10 that uh, I could purchase for you guys, but unfortunately uh, they don't have it right now. But the only thing I could get, the highest one I could think of was the Friesland slash Gronigan. And you'll be receiving Gronigan uh, K. Ronte uh, as your gift. Again, thank you again. But the uh, Friesland was released a while back in 2019, and then it got replaced by the Gronigan, which is like, I believe now the Dutch um, style of this. And it is available for doubloons as well. It is a tier 9 pure DD gunboat, which I, as you guys know uh, of, um, you know, followers of the channel, that is really enjoyable to play DD gunboats. That's my kind of uh, priority, and I enjoy it. Just looking at it right here, we're going right off on the El Turago. I don't know what that is. Never played it. But you notice I've selected AP at first. AP in this thing is devastating, especially when you get broadside cruisers or broadside light cruisers and broadside uh, destroyers. The AP is nothing to gawk at. The Friesland's very, very powerful. You can see displayed right now, you're seeing that the hydro is up and the smoke is up. For That's kind of like the primary purpose of this style of gunboat, European, uh, you know, pure DD gunboat kind of style. And look, he's caught in his smoke, and uh, I got the hydro, which is five kilometers, basically spotting him, and no one's spotting for him, so he can't see me, and I'm just pretty much just wrecking shop at this point and boom splash one he goes down and and that is the power really all freezing really can do if you get in you can contest caps kind of like what the vampire 2 does you get that five kilometer hydro you're in smoke and you got the two dual purpose guns that just rain havoc especially the ap and then you've got the he also is nothing to gawk at and that's pretty much all you do you don't have any torpedoes that's the one downside of it so you really have one primary weapon and if you get one of those turrets knocked out, boom, your your uh, firepower is cut in half. But you can see what the Friesland and Gronigan really do right here is use that five kilometer hydro, smoke up for your friendlies, smoke up for yourself, and you're really just capping uh, and, and just contesting and really bully DDs around. Now, when I say bully DDs, I take that with a grain of salt. You're not going to go against like a small one or uh, maybe a Kleber or Marceau. It, 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 the, as you can see, the health is not there at tier nine, only about... I'd say the most I could get this thing out to is about 20K-ish, uh, a little bit more than that, especially when you're run against tier 10 DDs that have up to 30,000 HP nowadays. Friesland and Groningen probably might not be the best choice. It just, you basically are just picking quick engagements and then de disengaging and reassessing, reattacking, and, and so forth because you want to save your HP because you don't have any heals. You don't have any uh, much HP to start with. But, I mean, like I said, this is purely based on reading what the stats of this thing really does. It's really designed for spamming HE and uh, shooting in your smoke. And that's pretty much what World of Warships was back in the day. I mean, when I first uh, started playing this game, that's all people did in Destroyers was, hey, they're Torp, and then you get in your smoke, and then farm. I mean, that was pretty much the gameplay style. Nowadays, as you can see, it's morphed into something a little bit different now. No longer the days where you can sit in smoke and farm for the, like a good minute or two. You, you're a torpedo magnet or you got radar cvs are obviously there now the one thing cool thing about the Friesland, it does have a defensive fire but again with cvs the way they are it's really difficult to shoot down a lot of planes these days at tier 9 especially if you're going to go up against tier 10 uh, and you can see like right now i've got this thing built for a long range gunboat deal you can see the shells are very very trolly very arky and it's kind of uh, difficult to aim for, um, you know, for most people out there, unless you've been playing this so long, you know how to just lob those shells, like gearing kind of style arcs. But like I said, very, very um, arky, trolly. But, and here's an example of going against my, one of my favorite battleship lines in reality, which is the Iowa class. And we'll do a video about that, um, talking about the Wisconsin again. And I actually got brought up in a video uh, by um, Yuron, Ye Yaron, or whatever his name is. But uh, I appreciate his video. I will do a video about that. But yeah, it, it basically talking about the, uh, the Wisconsin uh, event, the Iowa class battleships. And like I said, I'll go ahead and write, say right now, I love the Iowa class battleships. Having been on the Missouri, being in the military and so forth, I really do appreciate and support. I mean, I watched the movie Under Siege, for goodness sakes. I, I, that's how much I like um, and, and, and just appreciate the, the Missouri and the Iowa class battleships. And uh, it's really sad to see me just farming in Iowa right here because you don't want to do it. But hey, it's a game. Uh, but you can see right now, this is the 
basically what you're doing in a Friesland and Groningen. You're just uh, sitting far back and just spamming HE. And if this is what you like to do, here you go. Here's what the bread and butter of this thing. And that's why I like the DD gunboat because you can really wreck a lot of damage, wreck havoc, uh, especially if you're just in the distance and just shooting and lobbing shells. You start a lot of good fires. I mean, um, if you build for it correctly, Friesland and Groningen can start a lot of fires. Uh, the other cool pros, I'll talk about the Friesland while we're farming this Iowa right here. Um, you can see that the, the guns are very quick, uh, very quick firing, outstanding rate of fire. It's got a powerful A suite and a hydro, a hydro acoustic five kilometer smoke generator that lasts a long time. And uh, the other thing is the gun turrets are 360, so you can basically nose in, and uh, no matter which way you turn, the guns are always facing in the front of you, or they don't have to wait the full 360 to turn back around. You can really uh, get and bully a lot of DDs and get the good angles uh, with the 360 turrets. I like that a lot, especially on like the Daring class, the Vampire, I believe Vampire does it. Um, and, no, actually, I think it's just Daring and Free. Friesland do the 360 turrets. Uh, Gdansk does uh, the, its first three turrets do 360. So I like that aspect because you're not worried about the guns not being in the right position at the wrong time. And and uh, like I said, I like that. And, and do we get this kill? Boom! Splash two. And that is a victory. That's how quick the game lasts right there. But that that is the Friesland. And you can see I got RPF on it. You can really hunt down DDs well in this thing. The concealment, eh, it's okay. You can build out to it. I didn't build for it, but you can build out. It can get down below six. But it's that's what the, the Freeze and the Grana can really can do. And, uh, yeah, you can really win games and push and bully people uh, sparingly. Of course, uh, you know, not too, too bully. Don't go bullying up against Claber or Marceau. But, anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Congrats again to K. Ronte. And I uh, hope you enjoy the gift. As always, thanks for all the supporters out there. Like, subscribe, button below. And until then, say hi and then be safe. Cheers.